Hi, my name is Megan McNish, and I'm a preservation planner with the City of Columbia. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about the history of the Whaley Street Protection Area. Whaley has a unique character, and um, it's associated with both the Granby and Olympia Mills, and the houses within the district were used to house supervisors for the mills um, at varying levels. Some were lower level supervisors, some were higher up um, in the hierarchy. There are several historic house types located within the Whaley uh, area. There is the type D uh, one-story bungalow, the type E two-story side gable structures, and the type F two-story hip roof structures. In addition to the residential buildings located within the district, there are several historic commercial and religious buildings as well, um, including 701 Whaley Street, which was the Mill Community Building, the Southside Baptist Church and Trinity Chapel, which is now the Cornerstone Baptist Church. So some important dates throughout the history of um, the Whaley Street area. In the late 1890s, the Granby and Olympia Mills were constructed. In about 1900, the first supervisory structures were constructed on Whaley Street. Um, that's the first housing that comes into the district and really continued along with the supervisory structures that we find um, on Whaley Street in the Granby District. Um, in 1916, the Granby and Olympia Mills were sold by the W.B. Smith Whaley Company to the Pacific Mill Company. And when Pacific Mills purchased the mills um, and the associated housing, they began to develop the Whaley Street area more intensively. Um, so beginning in 1916 and up until about 1920, construction um, you know, continued within uh, what is now the Whaley Street District. In 1939, Pacific Mills um, saw costs associated with the housing that they had built um, and other um, mill villages within this area begin to rise. So they started to sell off individual houses um, to property owners. At this time, um, as individual property owners began to take ownership, they made small changes to their homes to make them more distinctive and unique um, and more personal to them. Uh, fast forward several years um, to 2010, uh, when this area was locally designated as a protection area. And within the last few years in 2018, it was listed uh, in the National Register of Historic Places as part of the Olympia Mill Village. So the first housing type we're going to discuss today uh, is the Type F um, style house. Now these structures are found predominantly on Whaley and Wayne Streets and are among the first that were constructed in the district. Um, they share some similarities with the supervisory structures that we find in the Granby district. The next type is the type E structure. Um, these are side gable structures that have a sort of uh, salt box style roof. Um, and this, uh, these structures are found predominantly on Whaley Street. And yet again, as I mentioned earlier, um, sort of tie the Granby and Whaley districts together. And the last historic house type is the type D structure. Um, these were the more recent additions to the neighborhood um, and they're more commonly found on the side streets north and south of Whaley Street. Um, they frequently have enclosed front porches and um, are more of that bungalow style that we see um, in, in both the uh, construction by the Pacific Mill Company in the Whaley and Granby districts. So that's a brief overview of the Whaley Street Protection Area. Hope that's been informative. Uh, should you have any questions about the Whaley area or about any other historic district in Columbia, please feel free to reach out to us at preservation at Thanks.